Dr. Richard Besser. We want to get more safety tips right now. You see that big jug of flood, flood water that's right. right here, and that's what we want to dig into. And of course, you don't drink it, but that's not the only danger. No, not at all. I mean, this is some flood water from here in New York City. When, when that flood water comes into, into your home, you have to worry about what is it bringing in with you. And, and there you worry about contamination. It can bring in animal waste, human waste. That's contaminated with bacteria. When it mixes with, with things in your basement, there, you can be storing chemicals, cleaning supplies. You want to stay away from that water. But also, when you have a couple feet of water in your basement, there can be sharp objects. You have to be very careful when you're dealing with that flood. And when you're dealing with flooding like this, you got to be careful about the tap water as well. Yeah, you know, you may be hearing from, from your, your town that there's a boil water adv advisory. When, when there's flooding, you can get contamination of your water supply. And if, if you've stored water, great. But if you hadn't, for a boiled water advisory, you need to boil your water for at least one minute of full boil. Um, if, if, if you don't have power and can't do that, you can take a jug of water, a gallon of water, and add eight drops of bleach into that water, and that will make that safe to drink. Because there are so many contaminants in this flood water, if it comes into your house, does that mean you shouldn't try to go in there and clean it up? Well, you know, I wouldn't do it right away. You want to have good light so you can see what you're doing. And when you're in there cleaning that water, you don't want it to come in contact. So you want to wear rubber boots and gloves and goggles so that it's not irritating your skin. You want to wash off very well after doing that. But don't rush into that water. There may, they all, may also be electrical problems when you're going into a, a basement that's got water. So when you finally are able to go in and start cleaning, how exactly should you do it? Well, you know, you want to be careful for any food that it, or water jugs that have come in contact with the, with that flood water. You can't use any of those. That goes for, for jars as well. The one exception to that is if you have some canned goods that were stored in that flood water, you can take the labels off. You can either boil those cans or you can soak those cans in, in a bleach solution and then rinse those with clean water and use that. But any food, any water, even in a sealed package that's come in contact with flood water, you want to get rid of that because even there is potential package. risk. Even a sealed package. It's very hard, you know, if you have a bag that's sealed or a jar to really clean around that, the, the, the jar top. So only the canned goods are the ones that you can, you can get away with. Okay, Dr. Richard Besser, thanks very much. Lots of good safety tips right there.